Hi, my name is Eric Kaiser and I am with Cisco Ironport. I am a CSE and I support the web security appliance along with the management series appliance. In this short video, I am going to show you how to configure the web security appliance uh, for using WCCP. Um, keep in mind this WSA is already connected to a switch as well as the device that's going to be providing WCCP to the WSA which in this video will be an ASA. Um, I believe that will be part two of the video where I will actually show you how to uh, set up the different aspects of an ASA in order to communicate with the WSA. Um, just for um, your better understanding, um, I do not prefer to use the standard um, web-cache which supports only port 80. Um, in most cases my experience has been customers tend to want to redirect more than just port 80 uh, for example 443. So we're going to go ahead and start by logging into this WSA and then we're going to start configuring uh, WCCP. So once we're logged into the GUI all you have to do is Go to network and then move on to transparent redirection and click on it. If this is the first time that you've configured WCCP, you're going to see this screen and you're going to click on edit device. If you already have WCCP configured and you're just modifying it, in other words, changing the interface or the, the changing the device's IP address um, that the WSA is communicating with then you'll already have a WCCP um, label with a configuration behind it and you can just click on that name and it'll expand it and you'll see all the different parameters but in this video we're configuring it from scratch so I'll go and click edit device and from here I'm going to pick the type in the drop down which is going to be WCCP um, it says v version 2 router, that just means it's capable of using WCCP version 2 which has security enabled. So I'll go ahead and submit this. And then I'll commit. Alright, so commit one more time. Now is where we actually go ahead and we can uh, add a WCCP service. Um, this service profile name is actually just a label. It's nothing more than that, so you can call it what you will. Um, just so you guys know, this is the standard web cache um, ID, service ID that's used. Um, a lot of uh, sales engineers like to use this uh, for smaller organizations. It just gets them up and running, and then when they go to filter HTTPS, they can't because well, web-cache can only support port 80. We're going to select a dynamic service ID. Here at Ironport, we recommend 90 through 97. So here we go. I'm going to input 90. I'm going to also input ports 80 and 443. Um, just be aware when you add 443 and you redirect 443 on your ASA, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you enable that HTTPS proxy. Um, this is another video at some point in time that I will make. Um, no promises as to when. So in this particular uh, video, I'm just going to add it for all intents and purposes of showing the flexibility of using a dynamic service ID, which as you can see here, Cisco shows that you can use 0 through 255 However, uh, from my understanding is it's actually only 0 through 99 as there are issues with the upper division uh, uh, service IDs. So as far as the redirect based on destination port goes, this should be fine. I shouldn't experience any issues with it. Then I'm going to move on to the actual device that is providing WCCP and that is going to be my ASA and I have a simple IP address of 192.168.1.2 and 
I'm not going to be using any security on this. In other words, I'm not going to configure my ASA to um, use a password in order to form the neighborship. But what I am going to do, because I know I'm working with an ASA, and I know I'm not going to be using a, a mask, but rather a hash, I'm going to select hash only. And I also know that the ASA does not do layer 2 forwarding. It only works with GRE. And I could leave these values. However, I like to streamline things and make it as efficient as possible even though the ASA will tell the WSA what they're going to use. It will tell the WSA, hey, we're going to use GRE only, we're not going to use L2. And the WSA will follow the ASA's lead. So for the forward method, GRE, and the return method, GRE. Now I'm going to go ahead and submit this and commit these changes. And that's pretty much it. Um, how do you test it? Um, one of the ways that you would test it is by logging into the command line of the WSA and you would actually grep for the output of a client's IP address and try and generate traffic from it. Um, if you're successful, you will see HTTP traffic coming through the ax uh, through your grep which um, I'll also add another video in here on how to determine if your WCCP is working or not um, I'll provide that uh, in the ASA video so thank you and if you have any questions feel free to post them on YouTube. I'll do my best to answer them in a timely manner. I don't always check my YouTube, but, um, uh, you know, just bear with me on that. At any rate, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, let me know if you guys are interested in other recordings and configurations. Thanks.